Good morning, everybody. This is Navish Rao, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering from Nalana Sumaradi Educational Society's Group of Institution, Hyderabad, Telangana. Today, we will discuss one of the topic from Transportation Engineering of the Unit Traffic Engineering and Regulation. From this unit, we will discuss the basic topic is basic traffic characteristics so before that what is traffic engineering so traffic engineering it is a branch of engineering which deals with the planning and geometric design of roads and highways and with the traffic operation as they use is related to safe convenient and economic transportation of person and goods. This is achieved by systematic traffic studies and scientific analysis and engineering application. The road traffic is composed of various categories of vehicular traffic and the pedestrian traffic. Each category of vehicular traffic has two components the human element as a driver and his machine as vehicle traffic engineering has also to be recognized and governed by social and physical sciences so guys some of the points is there here traffic engineering means so uh, we need to pedestrians drivers and some of things occur into the account but that at that say at the condition the traffic operation as their use is related to safe convenient economic transportation the persons and goods everything into the account so some of the traffic engineering scopes is there here so there is a traffic characteristics traffic studies and analysis, traffic operations, control and regulation, planning and analysis, geometric design, administration and management. And we need to discuss one by one briefly. So traffic characteristics. So what is the traffic characteristics? The study of traffic characteristics is the most essential prerequisite for any improvement of traffic facilities, the traffic characteristics includes road users characteristics as well as the vehicular characteristics. And here, the various factor which affect the road user characteristics may broadly be classified under different kinds of the information that is the physical. Uh, mental and emotional characteristics of the human beings are to be given particular attention. The vehicular characteristics includes study of various parameters of vehicles like dimensions, weight, uh, maximum turning radius, speed and braking system and lightning system, tires and friction, design speed etc. So many of things I took into the account according to that only we need to uh, maintain all those things and traffic planning is a separate phase for major highways like uh, express phase uh, industrial roads national highways and the mass transfer facilities and parking facilities and other district roads traveling and number of number of uh, uh, information we need to take into the account and at the same time, the various phases of traffic engineering are we need to implement here. So, uh, implemented with the help of engineering and foment, and foment and uh, an education that is three E's. So, we need to take uh, into the account. So, function of some of the traffic engineering. So, collection, analysis, and interpretation of traffic. So this is a very 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 important 
So various sur surveys we need to take into the account for the collection of the data generally. So volume study we need to require origin and destination study, speed study we need to require, parking study we need to require, accident studies we need to require. So these every information we need to require to calculate the uh, graphic uh, data. So road accidents is there, accident data we need to take, road marking each and every parameters we need to require here. So next uh, traffic and uh, transportation plan based on the study related to land use and transportation mathematical models are formulated to predict, predict how system will behave under the given condition and some of the traffic design we need to require. Geometric design of the highway, geometric design of the highway means so uh, we need to require alignment, side distance, stopping side distance, over side distance. So we need to require gradients, so super elevations, extra widening, transit curve, summit curve, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment. These are all kind of the parameters we take into the account in geometrical design. Then intersectional designs. We need to construct uh, rotaries, islands, everything, and grade separate intersections. So here grade separate is there and. Uh, uh, at grade intersection is there, we need to overcome the traffic condition at the particular point and design of on street and off street parking we need to require. So nowadays uh, here in India, uh, Telangana, uh, this is uh, parking problem is more and more. And measures uh, for operation of traffic, plastic and enforcement measures, uh, measures for regulation of the parking of vehicles. And management measures and traffic control device so when, when we are when we are going into the picture so we need to give the all the traffic uh, conditions when we are constructing a project uh, so at that time so we need to design all kind of the parameters then we need to into the account administration various programs in it intended to secure safe and essential traffic in cities is also an important function of the traffic engineering. This is the very important point. We need to overcome the traffic conditions, means we need to uh, implement different kind of the programs to overcome the uh, traffic problems in the cities. So elements of the traffic operations, that is the road users, drivers and pedestrians, is the, and uh, the vehicles and the highway, and the environment, these are the elements of traffic operation conditions. So, some of the behavior traffic is highly dependent on the interaction amongst the four elements that is, the road users. So, response to various uh, stimuli varies over the wide range. The drivers have varying degree of uh, fatigues, attention, experience timing etc vehicle they differ in dimension width and performance of the characteristics highway it have the weighing the grades alignments carriageway width of the surface environment condition is weather as a subject so guys here road users in the sense not only the drivers the pedestrians also is there so we we should follow the traffic rules and regulation when we are uh, entering into the road of highway or national highway village roads other district roads so we need to maintain the traffic rules and regulations for pedestrians mainly and as the same condition so driver also we need to maintain all the rules and regulation of the, that condition so the should get the some experience and uh, driving qualities and skills everything we need to require for the road use and at the same condition at the same time vehicle so vehicle condition should be a good so other and other thing is the dimensions of the vehicle means length of the vehicle, width of the vehicle, and weight. So for example, for example, goods vehicle is there. So we need to uh, restrict uh, some weight only and the performance. So each and everything we need to take into the account. For example, highway. Again, highway. Highway in the sense we need to require grade, varying grades. We need to require proper alignment. We need to require and carriageway. We need to require in good condition, width and surface and overtaking zone. These kind of the parameter we need to repeat on. And environmental condition in the sense of weather and adjacent languages. So these all kind of the uh, parameters we need to require. These four parameters are very, very important in the traffic condition.
so some of the road user factors is there so psychological factor is there and physical factor is there and environmental factor or maybe uh, character characteristics is there we need to discuss on their own so in physical factor we have uh, permanent factor is there and temporary factor is there. so permanent factor is the vision hearing strength judgment power and reaction power in the reaction time these are the permanent and temper is the fatigue and alcoholic drug illness disability anger climate season time so these are the temporary we come and go like the process there so we will discuss some of the things here so permanent uh, physical factor is there vision one of the important factor that is a uh, affects almost all aspects of highway design and uh, safety the human eye is the sensor organ that enables on enables one to see the evaluate the size shape color objects and estimate distance and speed of the bodies so vision play the most important role of these so this includes the acuity of vision peripheral visions and eye movement this we need to take into the account so some of the things is there so hearing so hearing is the very important point on this condition so the road user should hear the regular sounds and we need to alert and we need to move into the safe condition the sound of the horn or the sound of the nearing vehicle near vehicle itself can alert a pedestrian to safety so we need to hear all those things in some case uh, some pedestrians are travel, moving on the road they are speaking in phone and they are not alert about the vehicles so at that condition it will be the problem strength next so the strength is not an important factor in general lack of strength may make parking maneuvers difficult and particular for heavy vehicles reaction time this is is important for mainly drivers the time is required to reserve and understand the traffic situation and to take the appropriate action is known as the reaction time and judgment power ability to judge the coming situation depends upon experience and one's own judgment power before the actual response it is the right judgment of the steps to take to avoid the shafts so guys some psychological factor also is there here so we will discuss uh, this point motivation intelligence learning emotion individual difference and pipt so motion motivation is there people center the traffic stream for business social and recreations marketing purpose so motivation is the very important so nowadays you know, guys are uh, traveling onto the road without helmet or some of the guys are uh, um, driving with uh, calling phone and drink and drive these all kind of the uh, works is going on so at that condition the government or uh, departmental activities their motivation class awareness classes is there so they are doing the time and intelligence the capacity of road user to be aware of external factors person then has to be behave in a traffic and to adapt and adjust himself in accord with the instant and motive required a fair degree of intelligence next learning the learning process while depending on motivation and intelligence and other modifying factors develop the skills and habits Habilitation of road users. Uh, we should learn everything. So when department or government officials, when they are conducting awareness program, they are uh, explaining some of the things. So we need to learn from them. Next emotion. Usually emotion is strongly motivates the road users to inefficient, or random adjustment, fear, anger, worry, and other similar emotions and states. And individual differences because of the modifying factors of the motivation and intelligence and learning and emotions there is a great variation among 
use of the highway. And environmental factors is there here. So traffic stream characteristics and facilities to the traffic, atmospheric condition, locality, land users and activity. So the various environmental conditions affecting the behavior of road users are the traffic stream characteristic facilities to the traffic and uh, atmospheric condition which we know very well. The traffic streams may consist of uh, mixed traffic or heavy traffic, whereas the facilities to overtake or faster vehicle may be limited. So mixed traffic is there at that condition we cannot uh, overtake and overtaking these parameters. We need to restrict all these things. Chosen by the road user based on the need. Whatever be the motive of movement, not the individual enters this traffic stream. And the road users is usually motivated by the desire for the time distance economy on one hand and the comfort and safety on the other. The other environmental factors of the importance are the weather visible and uh, other atmospheric conditions. The total reaction time on the PA EV theory time for the drivers very considerable for driver to driver based on the above road user characteristics. Driver characteristics such as the simple reaction time, depth judgment, field of vision, visual acuity, glary recovery etc. may be measured in the laboratory using driver testing. Simple reaction time is there here. The typical comparable value are given below. The reaction time is there. And light, uh, the reaction time is 0 0.18. And sound is 0 0.14. And touch is 0 0.18. So this is the reaction time. Thank you.